Welcome to Justice Now. And this is part B of Tips for Black Workers, part 20. So this is part B. And this is for young adults entering post-secondary school, whether it's college or university. So just as in my earlier video I had mentioned, and that was in part nine, uh, part 20, uh, so this is part B, I had mentioned um, schools are like workplace for children. Um, the same with young adults. Continue to have that open dialogue with them about racism so that they are prepared as to what's happening. The reason I say this is because the terrorism does not stop at the elementary and high school levels. It continues well into post-secondary schooling. And I'll give you some examples. When I was in um, community college, there was a life skills course that I wanted to obtain a certificate for. So the first life skills course was great, got an A in it, and it was fine. Now, in order to move on to the second stage, you needed to have a B plus. There were three courses in all, and then you would obtain your certificate. So in the second um, life skills course that I uh, graduated to, um, I was asking questions of the instructor and um, it was pretty clear just by his mannerisms, the way he spoke to certain students, that he did not like um, black students. It was really um, clear and how it was clear was that he would speak to other students a certain way, to black students he'd be very disparaging. And um, he would use uh, very, very rude remarks towards black students. Or if black students ask questions, then he would, he would treat them as if they were lesser than and not intelligent. Um, so I would ask questions, I would be chastised by him, and I would counter that. Um, by saying, well, you know, if I'm asking a question, it doesn't need to be chastised at all. Uh, as a result, because that it was a very, the, the coursework was easy, but it was very difficult to get through because of this particular instructor. And as a result, what the instructor did was they decided to give me a B minus preventing me from going to the next step. Uh, there was another, um, there was a course, um, another uh, course that I had taken. It was actually a, a two-year diploma. And um, there was a white professor that um, saw that I was getting A's, a lot of A's on my transcript. So, in her course, what she decided to do, I'm, I'm still submitting my work, I'm getting A's on my work, and she told me, out of the blue, as the course was coming to a close, and I'm expecting my A because I worked hard for it, she turned to me and she said, you know, and I'll use the term justice now, you know justice now? Um, I want you to feel what failure feels like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a B, because you know I'm I don't I don't want you to feel that you're not able to handle, you know, getting something less than an A. So I'm I'm gonna give you a B. And I and this was shocking to me. I'm going, why am I getting a B in this course? I've been putting in my work, submitting my work, the quality is is a great A quality or above. And she told me that she was giving me a B because she wanted me to know what failure feels like. That was her exact words. I was floored.
being young and being uh, indoctrinated on, you know, you don't, you don't challenge your teachers, you don't challenge your instructors or professors because it might turn out even worse in the long run. I was floored because I knew what she was doing was wrong. Um, but I didn't know what to do. And I left it the way it was. I went on to get further A's in other courses, so it didn't make much of an impact. But I go back to thinking the nerve of this professor feeling that I need to get a B because I need to know what failure looks like. The imposition. And this is some of the things that your children will go through. Your young adult children will go through is that they will be assessed at lower than what their actual capabilities are. There's many black people who are very smart, but because of these types of instructors, they are assessed at lower than what their actual capabilities are. To my younger self, I would say, fight it. Go to the dean's office if you have to. Produce all the work that you've, that you've done and fight it. At that time, my younger self, I was too scared to fight. So I'm encouraging young adults who are going through this situation to fight it. Make sure that you keep a document of every assignment that you've done and the grades that you've received. And if you received a far lower grade than what you're supposed to receive, then you challenge that. Um, you get very familiar with the policies and procedures of how to have your, your assignment reassessed again so that and reassessed by another independent party to ensure that you're getting the grades that you are due. Keep in mind, again, like everything else, you may do everything right and it still may resolve itself or remain unresolved and um, it may um, end up being the same grade that you had. Um, but it's not necessarily for the grade, although it's the grade that the result of the grade is what you want. It's more of knowing that you've done something about it. I think a lot of things for older people, what creates regrets is not knowing the tools at the time of how to handle it and, um, and what to do about it. So that's why I'm imparting this knowledge to you as to what to do, um, which is to challenge and have it reassessed by an independent party. Get familiar with the policy, policies and procedures of that college or university. And, um, you know, ask lots of questions. Ask questions of where to get resources if this happens, what to do if that happens, so that you're well prepared. Um, and then know that even if at the end of the day, nothing comes of the challenge and the result remains the, state, the same, at least you'll know that you've done what you needed to do in order to try and resolve it. Um, yes, and uh, again, just because your child is 18 and up doesn't mean that they don't need the support. They will continue to need the support till so parents continue to support your children, or in this case, support your young adults as they're trans transitioning into adult life so that they are well aware of what they can do and that they're empowered of what they can do 
when they come across these types of um, racist incidents.